<laughs> Plus, I can run the test.
Uh, okay. All right. Amber, all right. can you hear Please us? All right. Now we just need to hear her. <laughs> Actually, there. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. It's great okay. sound, actually. Okay. <laughs> so, so go ahead, Amber. You're live. Oh my God. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for uh, for having me uh, host this this live event. Apparently, uh, I didn't realize it was live. No, that's not true. I knew it was live. Um, I'm here with the uh, with a lot of the cast and crew from Bloomers, this amazing web series that shoots here in Los Angeles. And I wanted to kind of uh, say hello to everybody and kind of introduce you guys, if that's all right. Um, so we have uh, Brooke, who is uh, uh, you can follow uh, at Pavlov Shot. Am I saying that correctly? And uh, Clarissa, who is at underscore explains it all. And give everybody a wave. Mm -hmm. And uh, Francesca, who's at under underscore woman on Twitter. Joanna, is she there? <laughs> Joanna, and she's not there? No. Ah, that's a bummer. She's so adorable on the show. Uh, Karen? <laughs> Karen, who's at uh, zero uh, shits given. <laughs> and, uh, and and no Ross and Vaughn, huh? But uh, but we have Fernanda, who is one of the uh, executive producers of the show. And yes. is it and is it? It's hard. It's hard to see. You guys are very small in there. But Matt, is Matt in there? Yes. Yes. And uh, and who else am I? Who am I not getting in there? There's so many of you. Tracy, get in there. Hi, Tracy. Hi. Hi. Hi, Tracy, who's amazing in the episode. Oh, bless you. Very sexy in the episode, actually. I was like, I was like, hmm, that's a, that's a good lesbian date. Um, <laughs> and then, and then, last but not least, all the way in the back, hiding with his glass of wine. <laughs> yep. This <laughs> is Henrik, our director. And then Eric, who directed the episode. And then our director. Hi. So uh, I think we've hit, have we hit everybody now. All right. Uh, so I kind of wanted to, to, to introduce everybody to the episode um, because it's, it's, it's something that's near and dear to my own heart. It's, uh, it's coming out and, um, and talking to your friends about wh what it's like when you decide to, to explore other, other uh, other sexes, um, not just the the straight boy girl back and forth, but but looking at, l at ladies as a possibility. Um, and uh, so this episode is about kind of the support that you get from your friends um, during this crucial time. So uh, yeah, do you guys want to watch the episode? Is that is that the next uh, exciting thing we're going to do here at this Google Hangout? <laughs> Get to see all these these awesome people doing awesome work, and uh, and because they love it. Awesome, let's do it. In a moment. In a moment, we should. Uh, Any moment. These are start sinking. Yeah. We could uh, we could also uh, plug uh, the fact that uh, this this episode was shot at uh, Carlitos Way Cocktails in Van Nuys, and uh, they're on Facebook Carlitos Carlitos Way Bar, and you can go check them out. And they were awesome letting you guys shoot there. And uh, very nice. Even gave us food. They did. They <laughs> they fed in the yes. middle of the night. Yeah. That was awesome. They fed they fed you guys, and you guys shot yeah. in the middle of the night. Yes. And yeah. and Carlos, yes. aka Carlitos. Um, was in the background. He, he did pretty much anything that yeah. Uh, yeah. needed he to be done awesome. to help us out. He was awesome. Yeah. And how do you, how did you guys? <laughs> well, we friends? Yeah. Very very nice people. Yeah. Very. Nice. Are they are they friends of someone or, or or did you guys just discover this bar? Is it a place you guys go? Yeah. Uh, in our in our filmmaking network, uh, somebody had filmed <laughs> something there before. Uh huh. And now they're friends. Yeah. And now we're friends. <laughs> And now you're friends, so we could we could possibly hang out yeah. with the, the the Bloomers crew at Carlitos Way Bar. Yes. There's a ghost that inhabits the bathroom. There's a ghost. The Twilight Zone movie was filmed yeah. there. Oh my God, that sounds awesome. Yeah, there are ghosts. 
Well, I think we're ready to see the episode now, so uh, so everybody enjoy. All right. Hi, it's me, Clarissa. Yes, growing up, I did have a male best friend who climbed into my window. I did have extra long blonde hair and a smile that first ladies and empresses would kill for. I have more than those things, though, in common with the Melissa Joan Hart version of myself. I have also always had the remarkable ability to explain it all. Men don't like to stick around for too long because you let them stick it in too soon. Don't lie. You know you want to win to go on. God, you <laughs> So you must get your love of fried food from your black family. No, I'm just positive that being gay is caused by childhood vaccinations. That is until now. I mean, how I tell my friends that I'm suddenly into the female anatomy? Thank you for coming to this very important meeting. Uh, where's Karen? I purposely planned this when she was volunteering at the prison. Don't ask me what she's doing there, but she cannot know about this. So, you don't take volunteers for conjugal visits. <laughs> Francesca cannot know either. Did you say everything I told you to say exactly? Yes, when she asked me... Where are you going? I said, I am going to a very gay brunch with my very gay friends, and we are going to have bottomless mimosas. Hey, girl. And I guess that is just too bad for the tops. Ha 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 ha! ba Very good. But then she pointed out that you don't have any gay friends. Which is true and probably something unhealthy that I should look at. But then I panicked. So I said, uh, until I discovered Craigslist. So now she thinks I'm at some sex party, which is extremely embarrassing, except given the context of my actual sex life is awesome. Can I do that? Okay, let's just put it out there. I'm going on a date with a woman. What? Where did that come from? I'll handle this one. She ended up talking to Francesca's OBGYN, and it turns out that Dr. Gail Bell likes to look at tech, even when she's off duty. <laughs> so we're going to dinner at the bar so Vaughn can keep an eye on us. Joanna and Ross, I need you to combine your forces and keep Karen and Francesca distracted all night. Rook, I need you to coach me on all topics gay-ish. Bisexual. Curious? Whatever it is that I am. All right, everybody in? Everybody in. Ready? One, T. T. Yeah. 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 Rule the world. You can rule the world. So, she's a lesbian now? I really didn't want to hang out with any of my friends because you all hid from me that Vaughn slept with you. And I really didn't want to hang out with you in particular because you're the guilty whore. But I can't find anyone else in I want to play. I know, right? Nobody would answer any of my calls either. Do you want to go to the bar? Yes, please. I am so thirsty. Okay, let's go. Hey! Hey, where have you guys been? We're going to the bar. You guys want to go? Yes! Get on in. We'll, we'll, we'll drive you. Come on, you. Get your sex behind in this car. Yeah. All week I felt like this day was coming. It's here. All of the research has led to this moment. When I was with my last boyfriend, he suddenly became interested in an FBI agent friend of ours, and I had to convince him that I was a spy to keep his attention. I studied. I bought devices. I interviewed real Russian spies. In fact, I think I could still be arrested for never turning them in, but not until after this mission. I brought you this. Don't go in your ear. And I will guide you through your entire date, feeding you good responses and all of the lesbianic lingo you'll need to survive. Where are we going? I just have to run one more errand and then we're gonna go to the bar. 
you know, it would be great to just drive, drive all night and, and just look at the city. Nothing to do with lesbians. Did your husband keep you in a cave? Just say. Whips and chains excite me. I know, like, whips and chains excite me. <laughs> well, we are on the same wavelength. You're just some kinky shit girl. And you're smart and you're sexy. Stop. Hi, I'm Yolanda. I'll be your server tonight. Oh, Yolanda, I think she's absolutely insane. <laughs> These drinks are on the house. Thanks, Yolanda. Isn't this girl smoking hot? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, every lesbian in here thinks you're beautiful, so don't be so modest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm straight. Oh, oh, I, really, I, I, I wouldn't get, sorry. Uh, you know what, I'm ready to order. I'm going to have some lemon chicken. And I am going to have the tortellini. <laughs> so, uh, tell me, when did you first come out? Um, this is great. It's a standard gay date question. That means she wants to get to know you more. When I was in college, you know, like, drink a little, experiment a little. Get mom mad a little. Oh, 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 I know that. I know that story all too well. Why did you just make that up? Tell me the truth. Um, can you just excuse me for just a sure. minute? Just a minute. I just Yeah, no problem. Hello. 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 I can't. I can't. I cannot let her know that this is all new to me. <laughs> Would you date a guy who didn't even know if he was gay? Well, I definitely sleep with him. Look, you're eventually going to have to tell her the truth anyways, and you don't need to lie to her to keep her interested. Just you is enough for that. Okay. Okay. who become bisexual for fun. Oh, oh, it's very specific. So tell me, what was your first girlfriend like? Um, I never had a girlfriend. Don't worry, she's going to love you. Um, I mean, I've never had a girlfriend who was really any good. You know, I just never met anyone. Special. Yet. Lucky me. What are you doing here? Oh, what? 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 No. Hey. 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 Hey.
doing here? Our day. Yeah, saved. Wait. Oh, crap. She didn't know? Okay, this is only a tiny bit unprofessional. I examine her vagina. I want to examine hers. And yeah, I've had a little bit of bourbon. I'm sorry. You're on a date with her. <laughs> Well, we're too late. We're so sorry we tried to keep them away. You knew about this? And so did you. Oh, okay, Karen. I didn't want to tell you yet. I am your sister. I'm the first person you should have told that you started dating women. This is a big deal. Which is actually a very small deal because it really doesn't make a difference. But it is a big deal because you are making it a big deal by making me not allowed to be a part of the deal. So your friends don't know about this? Um, I'm so sorry. Uh, here, this is for dinner. I'm gonna go. Oh, really? <laughs> Clarissa, no! What's happening? With whatever's happening, it's not good. Is it? Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, nice to see you. Okay. <sighs> Clarissa! I'm sorry I lied to you. I just, I thought if you knew that this was my first time that you wouldn't want to date me. <laughs> that's, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, isn't it? I mean, would you want to date somebody that didn't know anything about themselves? Quit trying to scare me off. I never thought there would be a day when I wouldn't be able to explain how I feel. Well, that day has come. And it's scaring the living hell out of me. Breaking in the things the other shot away from quick to die hard. With no hesitation, but when it comes to us, just more excuses. Say we're doing fine. The truth is, I don't know that you're afraid of my eyes. Swear I'm giving you what I am. So, baby, let me show you. That was awesome, you guys. Yay! Yay! That was so much fun to watch it with you so I could watch your reactions. As as we were watching, um, I'm, I'm totally stalking all of you, especially on Twitter. In fact, if anybody out there has Twitter questions, please hit us at bloomers underscore series, and uh, and we have all these awesome people here who are willing and ready to answer any question you can throw at them about the show and about other things too. I'm sure we're 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 an open bunch, um, especially after that episode. Uh, and you can check out the series uh, at their website. It's www.bloomersthesseries.com. And uh, you can watch the whole series right now if you go there. You can also subscribe to Bloomers on YouTube. And there's a little button right there that you can actually click to subscribe right now. You can uh, follow Bloomers on Twitter, which is what we just said is at bloomers underscore series. They're on Facebook, which is fb.com forward slash bloomers the series. YouTube, youtube.com forward slash bloomers the series. Google Plus, you're already kind of here, which is bloomers. Um, shout out to uh, Carlitos Way Cocktails and Van Nuys one more time because they were so cool letting you guys hang out there and shoot, uh, shoot this, this first date episode. And uh, the featured artist in this episode, the song was awesome, uh, his name is Pip. You can find them in the music section at www.bloomersdeseries.com forward slash music. Um, I really enjoyed it, you guys. I had actually cheated and seen it before so that I could actually talk to you guys in a, in a, in a, in a host capacity. But uh, I really felt like uh, you guys really did a great job handling this ep episode and, and dealing with something that could be a hot-button issue without, without being trite about it. I felt like it was a really lovely way to sort of begin the experimentation for Clarissa. For, for Clarissa. Um, now, as your host, I also have to kind of plug a couple of things. I know that uh, you guys are involved in this Indie Series of the Week poll, which is a uh, part of We Love Soaps. And I heard tale that you guys came in sixth. 
this week, and, and uh, that Ross and Joanna were a number five couple, um, and that you can act yeah, appar apparently you guys are very popular on uh, uh, We Love Soaps. Uh, and you can go to their website. It's www.welovesoaps.net. I'm like the queen of www tonight, aren't I? Yeah. Um, you, can, uh, you can vote this Sunday. You can vote for Bloomers. You can uh, vote for Ross and Joanna. Let's make them number one, right? That would be awesome. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and uh, the polls close on Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern time. And you can vote for this episode, which is Clarissa Explains It All. You can vote for uh, Best Actor, Actress, and Couple. So uh, maybe, maybe we could uh, take, a little, take a little time and talk to you guys before we would open up to the Twitter questions. Just uh, I had some questions for you guys. Uh, specifically, Kristen, how did you feel about playing a character that's, uh, that's questioning her sexuality, her, her sexual orientation, who is who's going from being with a man and, and now is interested in dating a gynecologist. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite. That's my favorite line. I, I I look. I like to look at her vagina, but I want to look at yours. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, Kristen, what what was it like for you? I have to say personally, I'm very open to that. Well, not I'm not anymore because I'm engaged, but I'm very uh, <laughs> open to that possibility in in my life. Um, as a, as a woman and as an actor. Um, but initially it was a struggle for me. And what's that? Nothing. Oh. Keep talking. Um, initially it was a struggle for me in terms of where I had, in my own mind, established a character from the first season and, and rightfully made some judgments about her as far as the direction that she was going to go. So when I knew that she was going to be led down this road, I thought, whoa, first of all, like, I feel like this is really out of left field for Clarissa. Uh -huh. um, and I had, a, I had to have some really real um, open conversations with some friends of mine who are gay and, you know, in their 30s and, and talk to them about what are the possibilities of someone like this who comes from a very conservative background um, and has some really polarizing opinions. What are the possibilities? Are these people that you know um, are they are they women that you're friends with? And sure enough, you know everybody that I talked to had a story. Oh my God, this happened to a friend of mine. Um, and so knowing that that reality exists for people, yeah, kind of it, it gave me it made me feel creatively like I could go there. Um, uh -huh. And it also made me feel a lot of pressure to do those <laughs> justice. Yeah, mm. um, Matt, you you uh, you came up with this change for Clarissa. Um, and you actually talk about it in the episode with the, with the line, uh, you know, I'm so sick of these women who are, are experimenting with their bisexuality late in life. Um, what, what made you decide to give Clarissa this, this sort of like character um, change, this, this, this interesting sort of turn for, for her? Um, you know what, it just kind of came um, instinctually, because I feel like Clarissa in season one was a woman uh, who was very bottled up. And like people who are bottled up oftentimes have secrets that they don't know about. Um, so I just thought, what on earth could this woman be like hiding from herself? Um, and it just kind of came about really organically. Um, and I love both of these actresses and wanted them to work together. <laughs> um, and, um, and also I felt like uh, the character of Clarissa needed a love story that really challenged her as a person and having her one confront her sexuality and also have a love story where it was about uh, one woman who's younger, barely employed, mm -hmm. uh, un unaware of her sexuality and a woman who's watch it slightly <laughs> a woman, another woman who's slightly older, owns her, oh, she's mature, owns her own private practice, is an out lesbian um, and, and watching these two people fight to be together for some crazy reason, whatever connection they have that inspires them to do that, I thought was essential for her to care. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the, the phrase lesbianic lingo, did you coin that? Um, I would like to think I did. <laughs> I've heard it before, but <laughs> well, let's just say I did. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, let's see, Kristen, uh, so what, what happened to, to your character to bring about that courageous moment when she just decided to go for it, to chuck the earpiece and just like 
be honest because that is that is a really difficult thing in any any dating situation to be honest about who and what you are I think that when I was in the scene feeling like it was very strategic I don't know if Matt intended this but to have it be an earpiece that he was communicating through almost felt like a certain element of my conscience uh -huh. coming, coming out and and being in that moment feeling like this isn't just the voice of somebody that's trying to push you into doing something that you're not comfortable with it's another side of yourself that's speaking louder and and pushing you toward more freedom than you've allowed yourself in the past and I think that's ultimately what made me take it out of my ear and just be like I don't know what expletives we can say on Google Chat, so I'm just going to keep it. <laughs> you you be like, F it. F it in the B. And, and, <laughs> and, uh, and, and go all out. And, and I think I that, that she's part. really happy that she just takes a flying, reckless leap um, into the great beyond. Um, yes. It's very profound, that part. I love that I, I clearly thought that out and wasn't just looking for something for my character to do. <laughs> <laughs> Liar! This <laughs> always <laughs> resembled a James Bond. I yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've always been, wanted to be a spy. So. <laughs> no, of course I did. That's the fun in getting to, to write for yourself and for your friends. You get to create all kinds of weird scenarios that you've always dreamed of being a part of. It's um, really fun to write for my friends. It's very difficult to write for myself, I have to say. Yeah? It's easier to write for your friends than for yeah. yourself? I wonder why that is. Any, any, any ideas why? Oh, you know, because it's fun to, like, pick at my friends and make them, like, face the shit they don't want to face as actors. <laughs> I mean, You're evil. I don't want to, so I'm like... What can I do that's fun? Like, you know. yeah. Um, Tracy, your role expanded from season one. How is that? How has that been to be to be a more full fledged member of the Bloomers cast? Oh my God, I'm so honored. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, seriously, I'm so honored. When, um, well, initially, can I tell the beginning? Like when I was like. What? You guys are doing web stories? How come I'm not in it? <laughs> <laughs> and calls me and goes, you know, I don't know if you want to do it, but do you want to do this part where you're my gynecologist? I said, examine your vagina? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and just went, okay, cool, cool. And then when Matt told me later, you know what? I think I'm going to have you be a lesbian and have you, I'm going to make your character bigger and have it recurring. And have you have a love story? I was like, oh my god! I, mean, I was crying like I'd won the damn Oscar. I'm not kidding. <laughs> like at the end of the morning, they always say you get the five o'clock morning call when you've been nominated. I'm not kidding. I was crying, calling my mom, calling my son. You know, I, I, I was so excited. So I mean, I'm very, very honored. Look at these people. They're, they're. I'm just very honored. I feel very blessed. Yeah, you all are Really, brilliant. really, really. <laughs> So I have a couple of questions for, for the group. Um, because when I first introduced you guys, I introduced you as your characters, not as who you are really. How is that, playing characters and having Twitter, Twitter handles for characters who, um, who exist sort of in the, in, the, in the Internet world but aren't who you are? Does that, do you have people come up to you and say, I love you on the show and call you your character? Uh, what, what is that like for, for kind of everybody who's involved in the show? Well, I know for, for a fact that Matt has been approached in the middle of the street. Not in the middle of the street, but you were eating lunch. You were eating lunch and, and in the middle of the street. A few yes. places now. Oh, and, <laughs> and by a group of oh, and, Jehovah's, no, yeah. Jehovah's? And by a group of 16-year-old Jehovah Witnesses. What? Yes. Yeah. Girls. Yes. Apparently, the Jehovah's love the show. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> Really? Yes. 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 Um, but as myself, not as the character. Um, so I don't know what it's. I haven't lived that supernatural thing that I'm sure you get all the time because your character Sometimes. is like so iconic. Yeah. yeah. Can I turn the table and ask you about? Oh sure, your... you can totally ask me. Um, I uh, I'm <laughs> I write books now primarily for a living, and uh, invariably I'll be at some book. Thing, talking talking with other authors on panels and stuff and they'll come over and be like I love you know I just loved you on that show Tara I mean Amber and uh, these are people that are like my colleagues and then they're all embarrassed there's a there's a writer named Pat Rothfuss who's this amazing epic fantasy writer and uh, 
I did a panel with him, and he we we exchanged books, and he actually signed my book to Tara. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I like to embarrass him, like I just did now. Um, but uh, but it is weird that especially now with like the lines being so blurred with Twitter because yeah. you know your pictures are up on your on your Twitter handles so people you know may think that's actually you. Do you ever do you ever get people hitting you on Twitter like asking you guys out or, or saying you know where where are you guys hanging out I want to come hang out with you and your friends over at Carlitos Bar. Otherwise we'd be best friends with them. I know. <laughs> I uh, have been asked for naked photos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, like I, and I do yeah. not even respond. Oh, so Angie. Oh, yeah. Angie said no. Now, Amber, turning the table back on you again, we have a question that came through Twitter that is Ooh. for you. From oh. Equal Boots. It, um, it came up and was asking, Amber Benson, what was the best part of being a trailblazer for lesbian portrayals on TV? Um, I was just really lucky to get to walk in her shoes. I feel like Allison and I both, you know, we were we were sort of going up to that glass ceiling and knocking on it and saying that that you know it should be it should be out there. You should you should have these role models for gay for LGBTQ uh, youth. They need to know that it's okay to be who you are. And if you find somebody to love, period, you are just effing lucky. Um, so yeah, I mean. And and I feel like because of that we open we open the door and, and you guys come along and you kick it down even more and, and eventually, you know, if things keep going the way they're going, you know, there there will be marriage equality and it won't be an issue anymore. And that's really what we're hoping for, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. one of my favorite things, um, if you don't mind me cutting into the conversation here, one of my no. favorite things about the show is that, you know, no Someone being gay or someone starting to figure out if she's a lesbian or not is not a big deal for any of the friends. You know, yeah. we're just like, oh, you're on a date, huh? Mm -hmm. We're just like, oh my god, you're on a date with a woman? You know, it's it really isn't crazy. a big deal. It was, you know, the big deal that she makes her friend, her her sister, is more about, wait, you didn't tell me? Why are you not telling me? I'm your sister. Yeah. You know. And I love that about the show, and I love that that's how uh, Matt wrote it, that it's it's not an issue. It's not something that we need to discuss. It's judgmental. You know, it's right. not judgmental. It's just kind of, you know, yeah. what the ideal world will be. It's not even would be, but will be. Um, you know, one day it will be, oh, you're, you're gay. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Like, you know, the person, the only person really concerned mm -hmm. with it was your character. Yeah. 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 She made a bigger deal than Exactly. And it's, it's and to, on that note, it's interesting because the question that's more associated with my character that I get is, "Oh my God, you have to kiss a girl!" Like it as an actor, they take it to that physical place where people are like, "So you're you're straight, but you have to play gay. Like, what's that like?" And I'm like, "What do you mean? What is it like? Like, it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like it's as um, groundbreaking as maybe it should be." Uh huh. You know what? I, I, I if I can, I kind of yeah. Because you know, a couple things. Even my mom says, "So what's that like to, you know, to play a gay woman when you're not? You know, well, I could be not gay, but I'm not." And um, actually, to be honest with you, there, you're as an actress, none of your work is any damn different. Yeah. It's yeah. not. Oh, this girl's a girl, so I'm gonna be. No, it's about love. It is about love and the human connection, and that is all it's about. Mm -hmm. it has nothing. So to true. Do with, you yeah. know the long hair or the whatever. <laughs> no, no, really, it's all about you know just. The human connection. The human connection. Yeah. yeah. It, it's about love. Simple as that. And I, and I and I say something. Yes. Yeah. I yes. Think, You're only the director. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for that, who are you? I think that says something about the writing. I think what <laughs> Matt is writing is about the relationship, about the love, about about being intimate, about being friends, about uh, you know being a good friend, about being loyal to friendship. That is what this series is about. The the other stuff is just icing on the cake. 
Mm-hmm. How come they cut it off just as I was talking? <laughs> Well, well, it is. It's about it's about having a support system as you discover yourself, as you as you get older. You know, you you make discoveries and you change and you grow. And if you don't grow and you don't have your friends around you to to help you in that that, then you know you become stagnant and and you're a boring person. And it seems like everybody who's a part of this is is open to growing and changing and and learning. And that's really important, and it shows in the show because you guys are handling these interesting topics, and you're not just, you know, repeating the same stuff over and over again. Well, we're um, all the work in progress. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have a footnote. Yeah. I have a footnote. Um, you know, shout out to the to the casting crew uh, of Boomers. Uh, I went in to read twice for the same casting director in the last month. Um, we cast for uh, network shows. One of the sessions had producers in the room, and both times he said. I just enjoyed watching Boomers last week. As I'm walking out the room, he never booked the gig. But he's watching Boomers. He's watching Boomers. Another side note Amber and Tim, I would like you two to go out and publish together. Both having played iconic characters on television, and just see brains explode when I walk by. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you guys are a lot of fun. I I like this group. I wish I was there drinking with you, but sadly, I am I am watering it over here by myself. That is one of the advantages of coming to this place. Always booze. Always booze. (laughs) <laughs> and uh, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I have a couple of news things that I have to talk about. <laughs> yes. Some, some, uh, some, some, some clips that you guys are going to show. Uh, the first one is about the sewer baby that was rescued in China. You guys know about this? Yeah. What? Oh. Yeah. It's like it's really intense. Um, and I think there's a clip that we're going to show right now. Um, that's the... no, just watch it. Just watch it. Yeah. When it appears. <laughs> Clip. This baby got help. Oh, there you go. Are we worried about the sewage problem? It's still only us. No, no baby. Um, yeah, pa- yeah. Apparently, this baby was in a sewer, and and someone heard it crying, and they rescued it. Um, and they, yeah, this is, this is not funny, Amber. I, I don't know why I'm, like, I, this is not, this is really awful, actually. Um, just a little bit that I, that I was reading about it. The baby's been dubbed baby number 59 by the hospital, and people are bringing it supplies and infant formula, and it's really sweet. Um, but who would do that? Can you hear us? Now I can hear you. Yeah. Did you can guys you watch us? the clip? Yeah, I can watch. I can hear you. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Can you hear me now? Oh, you look like Angelina Jolie. Yeah. <laughs> and the and the two lesbians over here are saying that you have very pretty lips. Oh, you guys are very sweet. Um, did did we did we get to watch the clip? I didn't see it. I don't know what happened. We're lost in virtual space. Something happened. I know um, she can't well, hear us, but we can hear her. Can you hear me now? We're, we're working on it. We're working, we're working on the technical on difficulties. Yeah. Yeah. What's the other news? Uh, maybe the other news. Report. Okay. Well, wait. Is that another buzz, Fiona? Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I know. We can always skip the news as well. I suppose. Where's your light? What? Where are you coming? Okay. I was talking a lot. I don't I know. I like how you're pulling really the microphone as yeah. close to you. You're like know. playing the like, like, You're like playing the spy You're like, talk to me. Talk to me. This is, this is. We still can't hear you, Amber. She's having a good time. Wait, what's going on? Oh, I'm sorry. 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 Oh
we're discussing the fact that she's trying to get microphone almost inside her mouth. It's like she's fine. You can just wine count. This is the time everyone goes to refill your wine. Yeah. I know, right? Refill your wine. It's just so so We got so excited about the cheese. Yeah. And then I was like, what difference is it make? She's on cyber space. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let, can, can we keep talking? Yeah. They hear us. Yes. They can still hear us, right? Yes. So guys, hang on. We're going to go over some of the uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter, Twitter, <laughs> let, let, you know, I need a cell, excuse me. Uh, we're going to go over some of the Twitter comments that are out here. You guys, we're still talking, sorry. Sorry, guys. All right, so we're going over some of, some of the comments. Um, Ashendra MC asks, how did you get those amazing background actors? That bum on the street was so real. It was a very uh, very complicated casting process. <laughs> yeah. They get those extras to play bums. We, uh, we did give them the dollar, I think. Did we? Yes. I gave them the dollar. That's, oh, okay. that's the union yeah. rate. We, we couldn't get them out of the shot. So. <laughs> yes. Oh, the whole house Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There were different shots. There were different bumps. Yeah. Oh. Well, I closed one of them, remember? And then when you start the shot, <laughs> I gave it in my clothes. Yeah. I can mop a given in the store. And then we, we gave food. True. So we know they got it. Yeah, we have food in the yeah, great. Downtown. We're so great. I know. I know. We also got, um, if you, you know, we've been talking about Carlito's um, bar and um, how Carlos was amazing. Um, in the background of one of the scenes, uh, you can actually see Carlos in the very background. Yes, yes. Um, I, I did mention earlier that he was an extra. He's, he did everything. He was so amazing. So if you guys, if you guys um, want to go to a bar that Bloomer shot in, Go to Kurt Eater's way. Also, it's also, you know, it's also a great bar and yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, next, next door is a pizza. Yeah. Yes. They always do this. Yes. Now, now, like the movie. You know, um, Amber, I know we can't hear. Well, let's try it again. Can you talk? Let's see if you're there. Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're back. Sure. Yay. <laughs> I was like trying to write stuff on my iPad and then I'm like, oh, oh I can't really wow. read it. Well, can you just do that? Yeah, sadly. I couldn't I couldn't make it work. Oh, there but, you go. But I but I enjoyed I enjoyed Fernand. Yeah, you got in there. You were good. <laughs> you I'm getting this. Um there was another question for you, Amber, and I'm totally putting you on the spot because Ashandra MC also asked Amber Benson. Uh, Benson loved you on Buffy. Are you going to be in an episode of The Merchant? Yeah. Um, only if I get to play a lesbian who's hanging out with these ladies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, orgy. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about like a couple sex therapists? Yeah. yeah. I'm good at that. That would be good. <laughs> Practically writing itself yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that works. Matt is writing it down. It's weird. It's like it's a good Alright, so um, Alex, can we have Amber take it away again? Are we good? Sure. So, All right, uh, go ahead, Amber. So I, I actually had a couple more questions before I was so rudely interrupted by uh, by the by me. But I um I had a couple more questions for you guys. Um, so, so how did how did everybody get involved with the show? Because it seems like you guys all get along really well. Were, were you friends beforehand, or did did they just like have a huge casting search and, and find you guys? Right. You know what, Amber? We're just really good actors because in reality we kind of hate each other. <laughs> we cannot. Yeah, insert, 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 insert my face close up. Oh, I, I know. Oh, now, unfortunately, um, Kristen, on quite a few occasions, was kind of the end of um, a laughing fit that other characters would have when it was her close up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she gave us the best I hate you guys face. <laughs> Yeah. But to answer the question, yes, yeah. we're actually, we, most of us were all friends or neighbors before um, 
uh, before we started shooting. So uh, only a few characters were actually cast. Joanna, there was a casting search for, um, and a few new characters this season. There were there was a casting. Other than that, we're all. I enjoyed the shout out to uh, to the Nickelodeon. Uh, uh, so, yes, <laughs> Calissa explains it all. A little Melissa Joan Hart action brought out the old uh, the old teeny bopper in me. Um, yeah, so. Uh, what uh, what other exciting things are you guys up to with Bloomers? Um, you're doing these live these live like group watchings and uh, and how many and you've got more episodes coming, um, and people can go to YouTube right now, and uh, and they can subscribe. Um, and the first season's up there. Um, is there anything you guys want to say to to your fans? Um, yes, please go to uh, bloomersthisseries.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, next week, the episode begins with Karen, aka Holly, waking up in an alley in the morning with her underwear <laughs> around her ankles and a uh, purse and a purse full of vomit. So, uh, so we'll just have to see where that goes. <laughs> and um, and uh, so it's it's Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Pacific time, 11 p.m. Eastern time is when the next episode is going to be up. Uh, they're up. 10 a.m. on Wednesdays, but 8 p.m. slash 11 p.m. is when we have these lovely live... Gotcha. Gotcha. And then there'll be an all-new episode next Wednesday, and people can go right to, to the website. Go to bloomerstheseries.com, and they can get all kind of, kinds of interesting info from you guys. And they can follow you on Twitter, which is at bloomers underscore the series, and uh, they can go to Facebook. Is there any place on the social media like world that you guys are not uh, 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 involved? <laughs> We're like most places, uh, but but Twitter not on fa Craigslist. not on Craigslist. Yes. 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 Um, no but misconnections. Twitter and Facebook are the main things, and YouTube. <laughs> no misconnections on Craigslist from the Blue Ridge. Yeah. Yeah. But we should start posting that. I bet it'd be like a good alternative fun. marketing idea. <laughs> um, so I guess I guess we should we should start wrapping it up. Um, it's 8.55, and, uh, and we've gotten to spend a whole glorious hour with the Bloomers cast and crew. Um, so if everyone will go through and just introduce who they are, really, because I called you guys all your characters' names at the beginning. And, uh, and so Matt, who plays yes. Brooke. I'm Matt Palazzolo. I play Brooke. I'm also the creative writer and one of the uh, executive producers. I'm Tracy Grove, and then I play Dr. Gail Vail. <laughs> I'm Kristen Barker, and I play Clarissa. Uh, I'm Holly Holstein, and I play Karen. Are two directors over here? Uh, Tim Russ, and I also play Matt's boss. And he's one of the directors. And Rich Zimmerman. I don't play anything. <laughs> <laughs> he plays with himself. Oh! oh. 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 oh very true. <laughs> Um, you know, if you, I know we're wrapping up, but if you know Holly, she's not very much like her character. No, that's <laughs> but after two seasons, it is beginning to rub off a little bit, <laughs> as you just saw. Yeah. Um, I'm Fernanda Spindola. I play Francesca, and I'm also one of the executive producers. And. Uh, and this is this is everybody. Thank you guys so much for, for yeah. hanging out. Yeah. Thank, you. thank, thank you, you so much, Amber. And for the Amber fans that came over, thank you. I yes. hope you liked us. Yes, you guys gotta you guys gotta go now to YouTube and subscribe to the series. Go check it out, everybody. If you if you enjoyed tonight's episode, which I did, you need to to, to become a fan and uh, let these pe these awesome people know that that you are supporting their show. And you have to come and play. I will totally Amber, come, and play. To come and play. Come yeah. and play with us. Get yeah. some wine. Come play. We have wine. We have I wine. Have really sold. <laughs> so I, I, I work for alcohol, apparently. <laughs> All right. Cool. Thank you so much, Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you, audience, for watching with us tonight. You guys were awesome. Right. Woo woo. It's awesome.